Hey guys, so as you know, I've been struggling with acne for a while now, and I've started making some changes and like being aware of what is touching my face and what my hands are touching before it's touching my face. Um, and the biggest thing for me is like, I'll wash my hands before I put my makeup on, and then if I like am going out of the room, like I get distracted easily, I'll wash them again if I've been touching other things that are probably kind of gross. Um, but the biggest thing during the day is like consciously not letting myself touch my face. Um, so some of the other things that you might not think of that probably need to be cleaned if, um, like when you're doing your hair and your makeup and stuff, um, cause you're maybe unconsciously going to be touching your face or touching these things and then touching your face. And these need to be probably cleaned on a fairly regular basis, like maybe every couple days or once a week, depending on how much you use these products. Um, one of the things that's huge and you really need to clean is your cell phone because you're talking on your phone and you're rubbing it all over your face and it's getting lots of bacteria and then you're like touching it because you're texting. So this is something that I clean, try to clean every day and I just use my standard rubbing alcohol and just like wipe it over the like where the earpiece is like I don't soak it or anything like it's just like a nice like alcohol prep basically and then just wipe it over the keys and make sure that my hands are clean when I'm doing it. So your cell phone is probably like the number one big thing that's like touching things and then you're setting it on places that have like bacteria and germs and it's just like clean your cell phone. Uh, another thing is like your heat styling tools like my um, straightener and to wash like clean these kind of things I'll either get a paper towel and put like some antibacterial soap or I'll just grab the alcohol again and just like wipe it over it with a cotton ball or something and just kind of get it cleaned off because um, you're using this on your hair and then maybe you're like touching your face depending on what um, sequence you do. I do my hair first and then my makeup um, but cleaning this like maybe once a week every couple weeks couldn't hurt anything right? The next thing is you know you clean your makeup brushes you clean the top and get them nice and clean because you don't want that touching your face but your hand is touching the handle and that's something maybe you don't even think about cleaning because you're cleaning the bristles and getting them nice and clean but not the handle because you're grabbing the handle and getting it all dirty and gross so when you clean your brushes that one time a week or whatever um, just go ahead and clean them too and you can either use your um, brush cleaner like I use the Encore version of it and just um, wipe that down or even rubbing alcohol or just anything to clean off those icky germs. Um, toothbrush. That's a big one that's going to have like tons and tons of bacteria. Um, if you leave it out on the sink, I don't recommend doing that, like not having the top of it covered because when you flush the toilet, like particles fly and that goes for everything in your bathroom. You might want to clean like everything, like exposed to air every couple weeks or so and close your lid because it flies and that's gross. So what I have is like an antibacterial cover that has like a, um, protects the brush from evil or you can put it inside your medicine cabinet but I clean again the um, handle of it because you're touching it you're it's gross okay and then just kind of like your hair products that you're grabbing and using and then rubbing your face um, so just basically anything like your makeup products um, one second like I clean the um, actual pump with rubbing alcohol or I clean it um, with just like my brush solution um, a couple times a week probably just because you're touching that and then you're putting it on your hand you're rubbing it all over so there's a potential to get a lot of bacteria on your face causing breakouts etc um, I really really envy people with really good skin that don't have to worry about this I promise you and then just like making sure that all your um, makeup is clean, cleaning that every once in a while because you're touching that even though I wash my hands before I use it. It's just good to have that cleaned every once in a while, maybe once a month, just like taking an alcohol prep and just like wiping it off because they get dirty too. Um, and I just want to show you, this is just the kind of soap I'm using right now. It's antibacterial from Bath & Body Works. It's dancing water. It smells really good. Um, it has the antiseptic in it. So like I might even like put a little of this on a paper towel and squeeze that out and like kind of wipe off the surfaces of like my products, clean itself. 
Um, but yeah, that's just some of the things I do. And then um, another thing that you, you know, you're touching all the time that um, is gross and dirty is your purse. Like, think about where you set that, like where it goes. Like, it's really gross. So what I do, since mine is like a vinyl type stuff, I'll just clean it with like a all-purpose cleaner, put that on a paper towel or like a, get like a Clorox wipe or something. Just wipe my purse off every once in a while because it's gross. Like, you think about the most grossest things in the world and your purse is definitely one of them. So that's just some random things that I clean to try to get my face to clear up. And it really has started to, so... Wash your hands, clean some of your things, especially if you clean nothing else, clean your cell phone because it's just yucky. And like it can even pass like sickness because you're talking into it and then you're, um, you know, touching it and all over and like other people might be using it. So this is a good way to like communicate germs to other people and get yourself sick. So if you value not having sick days and being able to save those up for other things like, you know, emergencies, then just cleaning your cell phone could definitely have a big impact. Um, I hope you guys are all blessed and you're having a great day, and um, be good to yourselves, and I'll see you soon.